Hey friends, today we're gonna see how to display images from AWS S3 using Angular. So I'll start with the demo of simple applications and then I will go through once the demo is done, then I will go through the piece of the code which has been used to do this. So let's start with the demo first. So here we have three, if you can see on my application, we have three item listed like documents, pictures and videos and if you go to S3, so same kind of listing I have done in my under this uh, key. So we have documents, picture and videos. So if you click on pictures over here, so it's giving you a list of all the picture under this key in the S3. So if you go and click in the S3 and click on the pictures, you will see all these images listed down over here. So now when you click on this image, so it's gonna show you this image. So you can see a bird sitting on a wall. And now go back and if you click on another image, so it will show you some another picture also, which is a remote desktop connection. This picture actually I took it's a, just a kind of screenshot which i uploaded and now if you go back again and if you click on any other picture also let's say it's this picture is uh, i think what it is it's yeah definitely it's a picture of one car engine so it's took from there so that's all and now how this has been done so I will take you through the code so as you can see in my this application we have this component view picture so in view picture I have opened two files view picture dot component dot html file and view picture dot component dot ts so what has been done in what's the main thing in view picture dot component so this is the main thing so we have put an image tag and this is the variable name we have given so you can give any variable name and now this same variable name has been defined in the view picture dot component dot ts after that you have to give the s3 credential so it's a like a dummy bucket example i am giving so you have to define your own access key secret key and the region now after this what has been done so this is the login so this depend on your application you will not need to worry about this so this is the id of the image so when you are clicking on this image so what i am doing i am this is a different component so when i am clicking on this so i am passing you can see over here this id to the view picture components so this is the id i am taking and it's actually the name of the picture and then i have prepared one this param object so here i am saying okay where is my s3 bucket name what is my s3 bucket name then what is the key of the picture which we want to display as image so you can see here the user id user id is just like the email id under which we are storing all these things and then picture is this is a static suffix and then this again id is the name of the picture which we have got from here and this is the time it's depend on you whatever time you want to give over here so it's a configurable property and then we are finally getting back a signed url of this image and this signed url we are just simply assigning to this attribute or variable you can call it and then it's displayed by html file over here so this is very simple steps and it's i shared this video because sometime if you are not properly well aware of the technique how we should display the pictures so it's take long time to figure it out how to 
display the images in HTML page and especially when you are downloading it from S3 directly. And the one improvement uh, I would recommend in this is like this is from security perspective, this is not a right practice to define the access key and secret access key in your code. So I would recommend you write a web API in uh, maybe Java or .NET or Python or Node.js. So whichever language you are having mastery and get this signed URL from that. Uh, API and just assign that URL over here so that's all my dear friends if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel